people may blast the car. The bimbo doll with big boobs and a thin waistline. Oh, the disappointment I felt. Mommy told me I should appreciate things. Be grateful for what I have. And that was the night the voices came. Oh, and what grand things they said. They said that I was special. I wouldn't feel it yet. But I was. Very, very special. Uh -huh. Don't look at me like that. They all look at me like that. Stop judging me! I'm not judging you. Who are you and why are you in my house? Good afternoon. My name is Patrick Tate. 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 One, two. Oh shit. Where'd you get that from? Old Craigie boy next to him, didn't he? Look at that ass. Give us a spin, babe, give us a spin. Now that is a real woman. Yeah. Not like those fucking rent boys you bring back. That's what happens when you fuck me about. Just a few home improvements, isn't it? This is great. I love it. Why is the asking price so low? The owner is in a hurry to sell. That's all. What about the man? What man? The one that died at the previous stairs. I think you're going to be very happy here. You seem more trouble than I've ever seen you before. I'm trying to deal with this. Try harder. What on earth possessed you to say that? I don't like that one. Why? She lies. In my professional opinion, he has a serious clinical condition. He has both auditory and visual hallucinations as showing signs of fear-based paranoia. He's not ill. I can feel him. Don't even go down that road. I'll approve of something in your house. There's something in your house. What is it? It's not a spirit, nor a poltergeist. It's demonic. Yeah, it's me, Dylan Jones. I used to be kind of like a big deal. I'm an asshole. Harold's my agent. I managed to book you a job. <laughs> Let me introduce my flatmate, Damien. Huh. I just moved in downstairs and I'll mail all this stuff. London's biggest literature agents. They want to represent me. I'm his stalker. Last night it was amazing. I thought. If a has-been from the 1990s, Peter Andre, get his own reality TV show, then why can't I? A card shock is a master deception. Using sleight of hand, I have the talent of doing one thing while you see me doing another. First of all, you don't read the cards. You read the player. It's important to understand that everyone in the game of poker has reactions. The guy to my left, every time he bluffs a hand, he raises his eyebrows a certain way. The other guy touches his lip. You see, when a man touches his lip, that normally implies expressions of uncertainty. In other words, he's regretting making that bluff. I got a good hand, better than good. But as I look into Frank's eyes, I keep thinking the worst. I've made a mistake. Frank is often described as the yellow pages of the criminal underworld. He runs Southeast London mostly, but he's got connections to the Italian and the Russian Mafia. If he suspects that the game isn't above board, I can end up with a shotgun in my face. Of course he knows in the world of underground poker, 
I'm rising as fast as your dick staring at Christina Aguilera in swimwear, so he's bound to bring his A-game. <laughs>